There is breaking news. Jury selection in the upcoming trial of former East Pittsburgh police officer Michael Rosfeld is now complete. The final jurors, including the four alternates, were chosen this morning in Harrisburg. Good afternoon. I'm Stacy Smith. And I'm Christine Sorensen. Rosfeld is accused of shooting and killing an unarmed teenager as he ran away. Andy Sheehan joins us live from the Dauphin County Courthouse in Harrisburg with a closer look at the makeup of the jury. Andy. Christine, the jury in this racially uh, charged case has been impaneled and it is predominantly white and older. Michael Rosfeld will go on trial on criminal homicide charges in Pittsburgh next week, but the jury is coming from here. The court moves swiftly this morning, impaneling all 12 jurors and four alternates, five white men, four white women, two black women, and one black man. The four alternates are all white men. It's a breakdown that would seem to be beneficial to Rosfeld. In addition, most of the 12 jurors are middle-aged or older, and only two, a white woman and a white man, are under the age of 40. At trial next week, the fact that Rosfeld shot a fleeing Antoine Rose will not be in question. The jury must decide if the shooting was justified or did Rosfeld act with wanton disregard for human life. Dauphin County trial lawyer William Kostopoulos says that it will be a tough burden for the prosecution to prove. Most police officers walk. Most police officers don't even get charged. The jury will be taken to Pittsburgh on Monday to prepare for trial, which will begin on Tuesday. They'll be staying at a downtown hotel where they will be sequestered, meaning they cannot discuss the case or view any media coverage. They will be working long days, and the trial is expected to take a week. Now, we, of course, will be covering that trial from the opening arguments to the verdict with live reports. More on this at 4, 5, and 6 o'clock. For now, live in Harrisburg, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.